Well, hello there, chums. Is I, Captain Stephen Exo, and today, chums, I'm going to be bringing you guys some quick tips on how to get all of the portal glyphs. So, when I say all of, at the moment, I have only got one of the freaking things. There you go, I've got one. By the end of this episode, I'd like to at least have, say, four or so within like you know an hour's worth of play but here we go this is the quickest way that i know how to get them so first off you need to have the nexus and be this sort of far into the actual story and then uh, yeah just grab yourself um the hazardous flora so there we go let's just grab that ready up lovely jubbly so i turned off the multiplayer settings because i didn't want other people to be in that sort of mission and establishing it and not readying up and being complete pain in the necks or even starting the mission because we don't actually start the mission when we get to the planet and we get to the grave marker that's when this sort of starts all come into fruition so let's take on off and let's fly on out hooray and hurrah let's go let's go let's go tally ho and off we go. You can see there that it's actually warping me to the destination. So I'm not even using any of my warp fuel. And the nice thing about this is, is every single time that you jump to a new system like this, as long as you visit the actual station in the system, as well as, you know, do all the other shenanigans that I'm about to show you, it adds it to your portal list. So you can jump to the station whenever you want. You can go to the station first before you actually go down to the grave marker, and that uses less warp fuel. However, I'm a bit of a numpty and I go straight to the planet. So my real advice would be go to the actual station first and then you can have a look to see if there's a traveller in the station, just have a nose about, but don't interact with the traveller. Just get in the ship, out of the ship and fly down to here. That's the actual step that you want to do. But yeah, have a nose to see if there's another traveller there because then you can do a double whammy. Right, so I'm going to jump out of my ship, lovely jubbly, and I'm not going to go talk to the grave. Do not speak to the actual grave. Put down a base computer. Okay, so here we go. Chicka pow pow, chicka pum pum. Right, so I need a load of um, chromatic metal. That wasn't so chicka pow pow. I'll be right back with you. Okay, cool. Right, so now I've got my chromatic metal. Let's just ch check down the base computer. Yeah, and let's start building a freaking base. So first, I need to claim this area for my base. Lovely. Yeah, claim them on claim, claim. Heck yes, that's mine. Chicka pum, all of that area. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to be building a base of that size, don't you worry, chums. You just need to actually meet the minimum requirements of a base to be built here, chums. So if you haven't got enough materials, you could jump up to the station at this stage and grab yourself some bits and bobs. I would suggest getting maybe about 10 metal platings, mainly because you've got to put down a teleporter or something here, uh, get some ferrite dust or whatever. You can see there I got some wiring looms, so I did go up to the station and get some few bits. There was no traveller in this uh, station, chums. So here we go. I've just put down... Um, a, a teleporter there i've got like a little base you don't need to have it this big you could just put down a load of floor panels because it's actually there you go it says it's too small so you have to get it quite large now the way that you do the best way to do this is to just use the floor panels because they're least expensive so right here we go it's just going where is it there we are so here we are it's the menu i wanted and yeah let's just chuck down a few of these now you see the menu over to the right hand side of the screen where it says what i'm putting down just over there if you look just in this blank area here, you'd see, as I'm putting down base parts, base is now uploadable. You don't need that many parts to be down. And it can be any parts. So I've put down a, a fair few floor panels here. Uh, so that's big enough now to upload. So what I'm going to do is go to the actual base computer. You can take a photo if you really want to. I mean, it doesn't really matter. But um, I tend to rename these, and I just call them Grave Marker. Uh, mainly, just so I know which base it is. And then I know which one I'm jumping to and which one I can delete. It's just a it's a semi-permanent name I mean, because we're going to be deleting this base very, very shortly. So here you go. I've just keyed in Grave Marker and I'm just going to upload that base now. There we go. That's now done. You can see there, it keeps saying you can't save in multiplayer. Well, it's OK. We don't need it to. So I've already visited the station because I went and got a load of base building parts. I'm going to jump into my ship and out of my ship and you're going to see again. It says that it can't save because I'm in multiplayer, which is fine. I've visited the space station and I've put down a base that's got a teleporter inside. Brilliant. It doesn't have to have power either. It just needs to have a teleporter there. <laughs> OK, so brilliant. We're all done. We're all set. So I've got everything set up how I need it to now. All I need to do now, you can see here I've still got the multiplayer disabled, but I'm just going to do the reload auto save. There we go. I mean, even though I wasn't in multiplayer, it says you're in multiplayer. It's a bit weird, but don't worry about it. And then when you reload, you'll be thrown up into the actual anomaly and it would say, you know, your progress was not saved because you didn't complete your actual mission, blah, 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 and tell you off a bit. But you don't, it doesn't matter because you've got a base on that planet, chums. So it's all good. As you can see there, I've still only got the one 
the one glyph at this stage. But yeah, it doesn't really matter what mission you got selected there. I was just beavering around. I was, I was seeing whether it triggered to see whether it took me back to um, Nada rather than Polo. Because if it would have took me back to Nada, I might have been able to get a load of Quicksilver again. But it didn't. <laughs> I was hoping to get a double whammy here, chums, but the, yeah, it doesn't work anymore. That was a thing before, it's not anymore. So I'm... so now what I'm looking for is my base, and you can see it over there. Your base is Grave Marker, and I'm just going to jump over to this Grave Marker base that I put down, which is the one that I just built, that you just saw me put together in a rather crude sort of fashion. Yep, so here we go. Hopefully I'm going to arrive at the base. There we go. There we are. I have arrived, decated. Joros measure, right? Brilliant. I'm not going to delete the base just yet. Now, really, when you do delete the base, you want to delete it bit by bit. OK, well, here we go. Let's uh, go down to see the actual um, grave marker. Because if you delete the base from the base computer without deleting it bit by bit, it puts it into a base cache. And at this point in play, I haven't actually got a base cache, so I won't get those ba base parts back for ages. Anyway, let's just talk to this little traveller. Lovely. Get a nice little bit of galore there. And you can kind of see that there's lots of caserts and there's lots of sorts of corruption going on there. And I think they've kind of got stuck in some sort of weird limbo or something. But here we go. We're going to get the actual uh, glyph. There we are. Extract glyph. Fantastic. So we're not too far in and I've already gained a glyph. Now this process does work. It's a little bit tedious, um, but at the same time, it's the best way that I know how to do it. Brilliant. Now you can see that I have got a return to Nexus logo on my quick menu. So if I just run up here and delete the base, like I said, I should have deleted this part by part rather than just deleting it straight from the base computer. This was a bit of a schoolboy error. So I should have deleted all the parts first, then deleted the base. And because at the moment this is going to go to a base cache, which I don't got. <laughs> but once I do get the base cache, then I should be able to get all those base parts back. Lovely and fandangly. Brilliant. Awesome. So that's now a deleted base. And now I can just jump straight back to the Nexus using the quick return. Now, once I actually get back to the actual Nexus, then what I want to do is I want to go and have a look firstly to see if there's any new missions that have appeared. I'm just going to turn my network settings back on. I mean, technically, I'll do this after I've checked the missions inside of the actual Nexus computer. So in the Nexus computer, this thing here, you can see that the, the, it hasn't moved over. I think that's the same one that I just done. You, there are repair kits, though, as rewards, which would be really handy for fixing my ship right now. But I, uh, anyway, I digress. I'm just going to push on over here. So if there isn't a new Flora mission, I'm just going into the actual Nexus computer, and because I've got my um, network settings on, I can choose another player's base. Now, it does help if they've got landing pads, so you're not going to use your launch thruster fuel. However, it's very difficult to tell, because a lot of these, they haven't got images, which is a right pain. So I'm going to go for this one, because it's called it Green Man. I'm hoping it's going to be quite a, an awesome build. Maybe it ha he may be built a giant green man there or something. Who knows? So I'm just waiting for it to download. And hopefully, I'm going to warp over there and find my ship on a landing pad. If not, I will be using launch thruster fuel. But it's not too difficult to craft. You just need some metal placing and some dehydrogen and away you go. Righto. So I have now arrived at this player's base. And looking around, I am not seeing my ship on a landing pad. It's just parked on the freaking grass. Darn it, it's not as big as what I hoped it would be. There's nothing here that I can grab either. Sometimes you're quite lucky and you end up at a farm. You can grab a load of materials that you can sell in the space station to buy everything you need to build a base or whatever. Uh, but in this case, um, I didn't do too well. Okay, right. So now I want to fly back up to the actual station. And what I'm looking for is if there's a traveller there. But even if there isn't, I've now got an extra station on my warp list, so this will come in handy for all sorts of things at a later date. Anyway, Exo, could you play some gnarly music while I just have a look see if there's a traveller up here? Okay, chums, well, as you can see, there was no traveller there, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to recall in the Nexus. And then I'm going to go over to the actual um, Nexus console over in the, uh, the corner, well, over in the centre there. And I'm going to see if there's any Flora missions again. So let's go on over. See, 
The quicksilver one at the top is usually a little bit harder to complete. There's usually more hazardous flora anyway. The rewards are a little bit higher. But I'm just going to turn the, the uh, multiplayer off while I go check this because I don't want somebody else to have the mission before I get there. And let's go on over and let's see what we've got. So this place is called the Anomaly. This actual computer in the center is called the Nexus. So here we go. I've now got Eliminate Hazardous Flora and I'm going to start the mission. Right, now chums, although that I've picked a completely different mission this time, I have had it happen where it points me back to the same planet and the same grave as before, and sometimes it doesn't actually re-give you a glyph. Sometimes it just acts like it's already been visited. It's uh, extremely, extremely rare. But anyway, there we go, it's auto-warped me, so I'm not even using warp fuel, which is freaking amazing. Which is nice and i have arrived you can see there first contact that's usually a good sign that things have gone okay i mean if it hasn't gone okay you can all, always just reload your um auto save and um, because hopefully it would be before this mission even took place so you haven't lost anything in fact i didn't use any warp fuel anyway so i haven't lost anything just a bit of time so let's uh, head on over and let's take a quick look i mean as long as you don't well even if you jumped out of your ship, you're not going to lose some warp fuel. So it's okay. Or launch thruster fuel. It's all perfectly fine because it doesn't actually save because we're kind of on a mission. Righto. So now I've arrived at the actual gravesite. So we're landing. Brilliant, eh? And we're going to jump out of the ship. And brilliant. So this is a completely different planet, different area of space. We're all good. And I'm going to put down the base computer. Brilliant. So here we go. Base computer. Lovely jubbly. And I'm just reusing the same materials from last time in a roundabout way. I mean, I deleted the base incorrectly last time, but I'll do it correctly this time. So claim base. Brilliant. Out of body experience. Awesome. And hopefully it's going to zoom me back down. If you've got a fear of heights, that's, that's pretty darn freaking high, isn't it? Yeah, that's a proper belly turning moment, that in VR. Right, OK, here we are. Let's um, put down these little... These little panels. So here we go. I'm not even going to put down a cylindrical room or a prefab this time. I'm just going to just put down a load of wooden floor tiles just to show you that you can just build a base really sort of finicky. Yep, so I oh, can't put one there. My ship's in the way. All right, fine. We'll go this way. And uh, yeah, it should come up. There you go. Base updatable right now or uploadable, whatever that says. Yeah, uploadable. So, yeah, I just put down a couple of extras because, yeah, why not? And now I'm going to stick down the teleporter. Oh, I need two carbon nanotubes. Okay, well, let's just quickly craft them. Chicka boom, chicka pow, chicka pow pow. And that can go there. Pop. There we are. Done. Diddly and done. Right, now this is uploadable. I can just upload the base, which is great, isn't it? You know? Ha <laughs> ha. Brilliant. Right, so let's just pop on over here. And I'm just going to call this grave marker again. Um, so yeah, let's uh, rename the base first, so up in the top corner here, rename, I'm not going to bother taking a picture of this one, and I'm just going to put this as a grave, and marker, brilliant, and there we go, upload base, Chikapow. done, and done again, lovely, and jubbly, haha, <laughs> double thumbs up to me, brilliant, okay, well that's all set, now really what I should do is head on up to the station to add the station into my um, navigational areas of space but while we're up here chums all we're going to do is look in the actual station to see if there is a secondary traveler now it's rare that there is but if there is it's a double whammy double bonus super duper doubly doubly job done dilly done yeah um, I, I, I can't even remember what i just called that but here we go let's go up here and let's have a look over there there you are there is a traveler mr light bulb head right there excellent is there any other light bulb heads no nope, just him Fantastic. So now I can just do a reload, you know, because I've gone to the station. Here we go. So, um, yeah, reload, a save. Chicka pow! And chicka boom! And I'm back inside of the um, Nexus because it classes this as a failed mission. So, <laughs> and I just run over to my portal. Now, I, I'm not really bothered about killing hazardous flora. Uh, well, I want to try and just get all these glyphs. So here we are. And there's my grave marker base again. And I'm going to warp to grave marker base. Brilliant. Here we go. Chicka pow. And we're teleporting down to the planet and back down to my little base that I just built momentarily ago. And you kind of get the idea. This is just a sort of rinse and repeat these steps. And hopefully by the end of this video, I mean, this would be glyph number three that I pick up here. But then 
because I know there's another traveller in the station, even if it sends me back down to this grave marker again, chums, which it probably will, because there's usually only one per system. I have had it where I've accidentally come across an extra grave in a system before, but I think that was just a glitch. I think that was a bug or something. But here we go. Let's talk to this guy. And let's um, get my glyph. Lovely and jubbly. Come on. Hurry up. Yeah. I don't need your life story or how you died. Not really. I mean, yeah, it's quite cool lore, but there we go. Yeah. Brilliant. Cool. I've now got a third glyph. Brilliant. Right. So now all I'm going to do is delete all of this base. But this time I'm going to delete it piece by piece. You can see there I'm getting all my materials back into my inventory. And the pieces that I really want was from that, um, you know, the teleporter. And now I'm going to delete this. So goodbye grave marker. Delete base. Chicka boom. And gone. Yeah, so there's some people that says that there's one grave per system. But then I have heard other people say there's one grave per planet. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really not 100% sure. But here we go, I'm going to go up to the actual station, and away we go, oh, I would do if I had my launch thruster fuel, I've still got one that I had crafted from earlier, so let's go, and we're heading up to the station again, chums, and then we're going to interact with the actual traveller in the station, so let's just get there, delete D, I tell you what, I'm going to cut for a sec, I'm just going to edit it, and you'll see me approaching the traveller through the power of editing! So here I am, running over to Mr. Lightbulb Head, the guy that we saw earlier. And uh, yeah, you can just whizzle around in um, camera mode to see these guys rather than run around. But here we are. Sometimes they can be in the other door over at the other side, though, of the uh, station. So you can always do camera mode on this side and then leg it over to the other side just to double check in the side room. OK, so here we go. Look at the objects. So you've got to go through this sort of thing first, a bit of lore with them. And I have got a... Um, a whole playlist on Traveller Lore. I'll try and put the card at the top of the screen here so you can go check that out if you're interested in what the travellers say because they do say things in a sequence and it is quite interesting what they have to say to be honest. Righto, so there we go. I've just grabbed that. Nice. So yeah, he's now given me a location in this system. I've got a sneaky feeling he's going to send me back down to the same planet that I just came from and uh, the, yeah, so let's uh, jump in the ship and let's see if that's the case. But what it does is it resets the grave marker. If you find two travellers in the station, sometimes it says nothing found, and it tries to send you back to this. It will try to send you back to the same grave, and it will say nothing found. So yeah, sometimes you can only get one in a system. But if you've jumped here for a mission and done the base like I just did, and find a traveller in the station, it seems to reset the grave marker, and it all works just fine. So here we go. Hopefully this will make number four that I managed to get in this one small video sequence. Obviously there's been some editing, there's been a few cuts, but I'd say roughly I spent about an hour in total doing this. Actually about 40 minutes to an hour. And uh, yeah, it, it's actually super quick. So there we go, I've got four glyphs in about 40 minutes. But it is all depending on that sort of mission popping in the actual flora mission. So there you go. Hopefully you guys are going to have some luck with this. And you can also jump to um, other players' um, systems and ha check there stations and yeah hopefully you're going to be super lucky but there we go chums that's everything i've got for you this episode so i hope you're doing good and i'll see you all soon goodbye 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 and i want to say a massive great big thank you to everybody that's watching and please hit that notification bell i want to say a massive great big thank you to everybody over on patreon thank you patreons and yes i also want to thank everybody on youtube membership you get awesome emojis for the live chat heck yes if you wish to back my channel in another way, you can always grab yourself some fine and dandy merch over on the merch store, or I have 3D printed items on my eBay store, or just get one of these tiles on this screen here and stay with Captain Steve that little bit longer.